I'm Stephanie Garrett, and this is Creative Inspiration. Hey guys, Stephanie Garrett here. In this video, we're gonna be making a junk charm bracelet. Now, most of us crafters and designers and jewelry makers, we have a ton of stuff lying around. So, what I'm gonna do is put a bunch of stuff together. We're gonna make a really cool bracelet and we're gonna make it look a little vintagey, a little shabby chic, maybe, you know, a mix of things. So, I got, look, I got stuff coming out of my ears up here. <laughs> I got chains for days, chains. I got charms. Look at all this stuff. Like, really? Look at all this stuff, charms charms and more charms like charms charms and more charms <laughs> oh and even more charms so we're going to make a really cool junk charm bracelet now um i'm going to show you what i have what you're going to need your tools and we're going to go ahead and get started okay now the first thing you're going to want to do is pick out the type of chain you want to use now i happen to like this chain i bought this at a bead store and i paid for it um, they charge, you know, per six inches, but they always give you a little more than what you, um, purchase. And then and by a little more, I mean like an inch, like a quarter of an inch more, <laughs> not much, you know? So I want to say this probably was, you know, uh, let's see, it might've been five ninety nine per six inches, something like that. So it can be a little pricey when you go in and have them actually cut, you know, the chain for you. But I just love this chain so much and it has such a vintagey look to it. I thought, well, you know, I really like this. And I got it quite a long time ago, over well over a year ago, and I just hadn't used it yet. So, and then I always have, I have these chains here in the package, which I had for a while as well. So they're, they're both chunky and I happen to like chunky chains especially for charm bracelets because you can put a lot more charms on them. So you can choose whatever chain that you like and whatever style that you like. So I'm going to go with this one for now. Just you measure your wrist and figure out, you know, what size you are. And uh, that you have to also leave room for the clasp. And I'll go over that in one second. So what you're going to need are your charms, your favorite charms, whatever those are for you. Um, I got a ton of them here, as you can see. You'll need your chain, obviously. You're gonna need a closure and some jump rings. These are jump. These are some jump rings I may use. Um, but I, let's see, I'll show you the closures. I have all these closures here. So look at these closures. So I got a ton of closures to choose from. So I'm not sure what closure I will choose. Um, we'll see. All right, let's just go with it. Let's see how all this unfolds, okay? Kind of like a toggle clasp, but we'll see. All right, so. These are my, some of my closures, okay? And then I have a bunch of jump rings as well and in different sizes too. So I'm probably gonna wanna use a six millimeter or seven, meter, seven millimeter jump ring on these just because of the charms. Um, and then you're gonna have, you need your tools. You're gonna need your bent nose pliers or your needle nose pliers or your long nose pliers. So any of these should work for this project. Now you can either cut your chain to the size you want, or you can just pull it apart where you think you're gonna want. To, you can pull it apart, open the ring of the chain to where you want your length to be. Now you're gonna measure your chain to the length you want. And I want mine at, now you can always use a bead board for this because it's chain. You have to consider the length of the closure and leave uh, ample, um, length for that because if the closure is a long closure then it's going to be really long okay so you don't want that so you know what I might even do seven inches because that closure can give me another inch or so that I may need all right so we're going to do that I'm going to cut it off you know I'll probably cut it off right here actually I'm going to even pull it apart I think I'm just going to pull it apart and see what happens find the space where you can find the space where you can pull the ring apart just like that boom done you know um i can close that one you can probably make two out of this one so how long is this one so yeah you can probably get two bracelets out of this right and that's um just about seven and a quarter right there so if you want to make a bigger one you have a piece of bigger chain and you want to make a smaller one you have a smaller chain okay okay you know what i think i'm gonna i'm gonna take off another ring here because I need to, for it to be a little shorter, okay? But you can hold this ring and keep it in case you need to 
put it on the other one there, okay? All right, that's just about right. And so you have plenty of more space for your closure, okay? Depending on the length that you want, okay? That's just what I'm gonna do. All right, so now you're gonna get out your jump rings. All right, so I was digging through my stash and I was looking for some, looking at uh, some closures. And I'm either gonna go with the leaf closure because that kinda gives it a nice look, right? Like that. Or I might just go with the uh, toggle closure with the um, flat colored dark silver. I like that one too, so we'll see. After we put all the charms on it and everything, we'll see. Now I have pulled out some out of my I pulled some stuff out of my stash, some six millimeter um, dark silver jump rings, and I also have some eight millimeter dark silver jump rings. I also have some like brass colored ones as well. So I'm gonna just mix and match all these because I wanted to kind of give it a different look. And you know what? Also, I think I'm gonna add some rhinestones at the end. We'll see. That might be a lot. <laughs> but I pulled them out just in case. So we'll see how it all turns out. If we got enough charms on there, we may not add this. Um, but if we need a little extra oomph to it, we may put this on. So stand by, okay? We'll just put this on the side for now. Now, I pulled out some jump rings already. So I'm just gonna start um, attaching my charms. And I really like these. Yeah, I really like these. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut these off the package here. Because they have nice little sayings on them. They're not really vintage-y, but they have a vintage kind of look to them, which I like. So we're gonna toss that, I'll put those here. And I would lay, lay things out to see how you want it. I kind of want that in the middle. Let's put all our jump rings over. <laughs> it's in the way. Um, yeah, let's put that over and I kind of want them to be lay. Oh, that's gonna be cute already, wow, wow, okay. I like it, kids. All right, now see I have these. I'm gonna put these on here next. Aren't these adorable? Like really cute. So we're gonna add those and they already come with their own jump rings, so that's even better. You don't have to use yours. But you know, you can use what you have. If you don't have the, what you think is the appropriate size jump rings, just use what you have, you know, when making this because it's supposed to look a little, you know, um, kind of thrown together. That's why it's called a junk charm bracelet, right? That, let's put this aside. Let me see. I like the little hat there. <laughs> I like the little hat. Oh, that's cute. I'm loving this already, y'all. Uh, oh, look at the little dress. The little dress. The little dress form, I should say. Oh, I love that. Wait. You know what? Let's put a hat there and let's put a little dress form there, okay? Now, where's my little high heels? I love my little high heel. Because I'm going to use these jump rings. Might as well use these. And they're all different colors. So that's what's going to look really, really cool. Because it's going to be different colors. You know, you can put silver on here. You can put whatever you want on here. It's just up to you. But I think to make a really cool chunk, junk charm bracelet, you do need a lot of charms. So we're going to throw these on here and see how they look and, you know, hope for the best. <laughs> right? That's what all we can do. These are some cute little charms, though. Yay. All right, I like that one. Okay, so let's let's lay these out to see. Oh, this is gonna be really cute. Mm hmm I like it. Look at the little shoes. Look at that, little rhinestones on the shoes. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> I'm goofy, I know, I love it. Oh, let me see. Cute, cute, yeah. You can, you can put them, start putting them close together too. You know, here, let's put the heels together. Put this heel in here. Got a lot of heels with pipes. Put this one, wait, I kinda wanna spread this out a little bit. Mm, yeah, let's put that one there. And let's put this one down here. Oh yeah, see I like the way that that's laying out already. And I think that's gonna look really cool with that. Okay, now what else can we put on here? Let's see, let's open these. You think these are too big? Hmm, let's see. Let's see here, Um, that's the way the hole looks. This is the way they just look, these little metal pieces and at that mm-hmm junky chunky charm bracelet that's the way it's supposed to go all right so you can just kind of throw in I have some of these old charms that I had laying around some little coins see that always keep your charms even if you don't use them because you can always throw them put them on something 
So I'm just laying this out, y'all, because I wanted to see, you know, how it's going to look. I think it's going to look really cool. Um, probably won't use that one. And I have some more over here. They have the Asian uh, vibe to them, but I kind of like them. They're kind of cool, kind of throwback coins looking. And I even have some of these. Look at these. These are cute. Oh, yeah, I like the little faux coins. Really cute. You know what? I might add this one. See this one? That's really cute. I might add that one. Let me see here. Let's take this off of the chain here so we can try to add it. And uh, we're going to keep the jump ring on. Just open the jump ring and close it back. That's all you're going to do. <sighs> yeah, really cute. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. And you can put them however order you want. I'm just laying this out because I kind of want to see, you know, what it looks like. Um, but I have some of these roses, another roses, more roses. Mm-hmm. Put that one of those there. Oh, look at that. A little stark stark gold. It's more gold than brass. But yeah, I'll just do use that silver one, okay? Let's use that silver one. That's cute. I have some charms in here that I can use. Yay. Okay, let's see what these. I'll show you what these look like. These are really cute. They're the little old school kind of clock like clock ones. I can put that on there. Yeah, really cute. Let's dig through our little stash here. So we have, oh, so we have a little bling bling. Look at that. <gasps> cute. Wait, let's try to find the other one. <laughs> look at all these charms. Like really, oh, these are my favorite. Um, let's see. Yes, look at that. Look at that. Cute. Yes, baby. Oh wait, see, this is so cute. All right. Let me see. Oh, I like that. I like that it has a little bling to it. All right. I think that's enough. All right. So this is our layout. We're going to see. And if we can add some more stuff to it, we will. <laughs> all right. So let's go ahead and get started putting it, um, putting on all of our charms here.